Acromide 655T and 656T models are isolated two-wire transmitters for thermocouple or millivolt input signals, and they generate proportional 4 to 20 milliamp DC current output signals. The 655T is a single channel module, and the 656T offers dual channels of temperature or millivolt applications. Temperature sensor inputs include types J, K, T, R, S, E, B, and N with a recommended minimum span of 100 degrees C. Bipolar millivolt inputs range from plus to minus 15.6 millivolts DC to plus to minus 62.5 millivolts DC. And unipolar voltage inputs range up to 1 volt DC. Voltage ranges have a minimum input span of 3 millivolts DC. The output is simply a 4 to 20 milliamp DC current signal with an output load compliance of 600 ohms at 24 volts DC. Since these are two-wire transmitters, 12 to 50 volts DC is required to drive the output loop. The supply voltage must be chosen to supply full-scale current to the load, 12 volts to the isolator, and any voltage line drop. This can come from an external power supply or excitation supplied by the load such as a powered input to a PLC or DCS card. The 656T provides two independent temperature monitoring channels in one unit. Each channel operates independently and is isolated from the other to prevent interaction between channels. The dual independent channel feature can also save space and reduce costs for panel builders. The small DIN rail footprint and the air holes in the enclosure give the ability to mount these modules right next to each other. This ensures minimal panel space, helping to reduce panel size and installation time, thereby reducing costs. This also aids in smaller on-site enclosure installation, where mounting space is at a premium. Also, the unused channels fill spare channel requirements and can be used at a later date. Configuration for the 655T and 656T transmitters is simply accomplished through dip switch settings. Dip switch settings include eight different thermocouple sensor types or seven different millivolt ranges for optimum accuracy and resolution, linearization to millivolts or temperature, cold junction compensation on or off, thermocouple break detection on or off, and when on, can send the signal either upscale or downscale. And finally, a setting to lock out the configuration. Calibration is performed very simply by the toggle switches on the front panel of the 655T or 656T transmitter. Each channel has a set of zero and full scale toggle switches. The zero and span values are set by simply increasing or decreasing the output signal using the toggle switches until the desired output values are obtained. Span adjustments are 100% rangeable within minimum recommended spans of 100 degrees C for thermocouple inputs or 3 millivolts DC for millivolt inputs. The zero adjust is 0 to 90 percent of full range. The output can be proportional reverse acting and is set up using the toggle switches as well. The 655T and 656T transmitters are designed to operate in harsh industrial environments. They include RFI, EMI, ESD, EFT, and surge protection. And the modules are designed to meet the stringent approvals of being CE marked and UL and CUL listed for Class 1, Div 2, groups A, B, C, and D hazardous locations. Plus, these modules have a wide operating ambient temperature range of minus 25 to 75 degrees C. Other special features and benefits include quick release terminal blocks for easy installation and a high resolution 16-bit A to D for high accuracy and reliability. The 655T and 656T fit applications where conversion of a thermocouple signal or a millivolt signal to a 4 to 20 milliamps analog signal is required. One typical application is where a thermocouple or millivolt signal needs to be transmitted over a long distance. The temperature or millivolt signal will most likely be subjected to external noise from other pieces of operating equipment. Because of this, these small DC voltage signals are converted to 4 to 20 milliamp DC signals. These signals can be transmitted over a twisted shielded pair over long distances with minimal losses to line drop or external noise. Another application is where a thermocouple signal needs to be transmitted to two different monitoring or control devices. 
This can be easily accomplished by using the 655T or 655060 t isolated thermocouple transmitter. The output of the 655T or 656T transmitter is loop powered. That is, 12 to 50 volts DC must be provided on the output loop to drive the 4 to 20 milliamp signal. With a 24 volt DC external power supply, the output loop compliance is 600 ohms, or two 250 ohm load devices plus any resistance added from the signal cable. These devices may include items such as a panel indicator, chart recorder, or an input to a PLC or DCS card. Optical isolation is provided from input to output in the 655T and 656T transmitters. And also, channel-to-channel -channel isolation is provided in the 656T transmitter. This isolation eliminates potential ground loops. Input filtering circuitry reduces noise effects on the analog signal and transient voltage suppression protects equipment from high voltage surges and spikes. Here we show the electrical hookup and the dip switch settings for the 655T or 656T isolated thermocouple transmitter. First, the 656T is a dual channel device. Each channel is independent and isolated, so each channel can be configured and calibrated for a different thermocouple type or millivolt range. The wiring diagrams show an input from either a thermocouple or voltage source and an output with a load and a loop power supply. As you can see, the input wiring is very similar in that the field device positive is connected with the in plus terminal on the 655T or 656T and field device negative to the in minus terminal on the 655T and 656T module. The thermocouple input connections are dependent on the thermocouple type being used. For example, a J-type thermocouple will have both white and red wires. The white wire is the positive lead and the red wire is the negative lead. So the thermocouple type and polarity must be verified for installation, configuration, and calibration. The output is a loop powered 4 to 20 milliamp DC signal and the output connections are the same regardless of the input. Going around the loop from the negative side of the loop power supply wire to the negative terminal of the load. The positive side of the load ties in with the out minus terminal on the 655T or 656T module. The positive side of the loop power supply simply connects with the out plus terminal on the 655T or 656T module. Adjacent to the IO channel terminals, there's the set of dip switches used to select input type for thermocouples or range for millivolts, Enable or disable thermocouple brake detection. Set thermocouple brake detection either upscale or downscale. Turn cold junction compensation on or off. Enable or disable linearization. And to lock or unlock the channel's configuration. Again, each channel on the 656T module can have its own dip switch settings and is not dependent or affected by the other channel. For more information on electrical wiring or applications, you can download operator manual information from AcroMag's website or contact the factory for assistance. Thank you.